active. All right. So, uh, so this is basically my uh, NiFi interface, right? Assuming this is my uh, first time ever logging into NiFi, right? The very first question I have is, how do I add a new data source to my enterprise architecture? So what does it take to do that? So it's actually very intuitive. I can just drag and drop a processor, like processor icon, uh, to the canvas in order to add a new data source, right? I can collect data from different data sources. For example, I can search for HDFS, right? We have a different processors to interact with HDFS in different ways. I can also search, uh, for example, for Kafka, right? We support uh, different Kafka versions. This is Kafka 09 broker. This is a Kafka 010 broker, etc. So there are so many different things I, I can do with all the processors, and we have 172 processors in total. So imagine like how many things you can do with all these processors. Now, as a very quick example, I'm going to do a get file processor. This edit, uh, which is going to, or which allows me to grab a file from local machine and then deliver it to a, another processor, a different place. So, for example, I can do a put HDFS, right? And then I can just simply connect uh, these two processors together, right? This connection between the processors indicates flow files are moving from my get file processor to this HDFS storage. So this is how easy you can set up a data flow. So maybe I'm not a developer, I'm not a data scientist, I'm just an operational people. I don't care about coding, because my job is to deliver data to these data scientists. And NiFi can handle that plumbing work for me in a couple of minutes. That's how easy that is. So if we go back here, so I know the demo is maybe too simple. It doesn't really convey the message. Uh, if you guys want to see a more, you know, more detailed use case, let me show you how you can very quickly set up a data flow, a flow that is actually meaningful in the enterprise environment. Now the flow scenarios is like this. I have a running log file. It gets updated on the fly. So I want to monitor that log file, and whenever there is a new entry, there is a new line being added to the log file, I want it to be able to grab that log entry and send that particular event or that message to a Kafka broker. And the best part is, not to any kind of random Kafka broker, I wanted to route my log entries to different Kafka brokers based on their types, right? There are kind of info entries, error messages, or warning messages. I wanted to be able to send them to different Kafka brokers based on uh, the types. So additionally, I also need a, some kind of a downstream mechanism that is pulling data from my Kafka brokers and deliver that data to a place like HDFS. So that's pretty much uh, the data flow job. Now how do I do it in NiFi? And how long does it take to do it in NiFi? Let's see how that goes. So go back to my uh, kind of demo environment. Right, move up a little bit. Uh, so I'm gonna kind of add a processor. I'm gonna start by adding a processor on my canvas, right, to tail log file. So I'm gonna go for a tail file processor uh, go to uh, that processor uh, configuration and specify where my log file is, right? In this case, I'm going to look for NiFi app log. Actually, it's not showing up here. NiFi app log. Where's my NiFi? All right. Or maybe I can do like a, a user log. I'm not sure if that's a running log, because I know NIFA app log is, but it's not showing up here for some reason. All right, so I specified where the log file is, and um, I can also uh, go back to configuration. I can kind of customize all these processor settings by changing these property values, but I can also leave them as default for now because it's gonna work out of the box. And the second processor I need is, uh, for example, a split text processor, right? So what I'm gonna do is to split a log entry into individual lines, right? What I'm looking for is uh, how many lines per log entry I wanted to have a single line in every single log entry. I wanted to split the big log file into multiple lines, and one line per each file. 
and now I can just connect uh, the two processors, right? Deliver data from tail file processor to uh, split text processor. And another processor I can add uh, is, for example, routing content, it's basically allowing me to make a routing decision, right? And then I can connect uh, the two processors split, meaning that I wanted to deliver the splitted line entries to the downstream processor. And also, I can see that there is uh, some kind of an error message showing on the face of uh, the split text processor, which means that processor needs some attention. So let's take a look at the actual error messages. It basically says that there are uh, some undefined relationships. For example, I have not defined failure handling. So that's another powerful feature of Apache Nifa. You can specify what failure actually means at any given point along the flow, right? You can either go to the processor configuration, go to settings, and auto-terminate that failure relationship, which means whenever there's a failure, I'm not gonna you know, do anything about that data. I'll just terminate that data and just keep it in the system. Or uh, I can add a new processor, for example, put HDFS, right? So I can uh, drag and drop a line and deliver all the failed data to HDFS. Or I can even kind of drag a line back to the same processor again, which means I can uh, send the failed data back to the same processor, and I want it to kind of reprocess that failed data until it's successful. So there are so many different ways to handle failure, and it is a uh, supported out of the box by NIFI framework. In the meantime, I also wanted to terminate these other relationships uh, so that the processor works. All right, so moving forward, uh, I'm going to configure this raw down content processor, go to properties, uh, content must contain or must match exactly. I'm gonna change it to uh, contain the match, right? And I wanted to uh, add a different entries to specify or to specify the keyword of error message or warning message or info message. So what I can do here is to add a property that says maybe uh, info and uh, I'm gonna specify to capture the keyword info from the log entries. So this is basically a uh, uh, expression language. We have a complete guide for all the expression language syntax in the NIFAD documentation. So you can look at it whenever uh, you feel like to. So similarly, I can do, I can capture uh, different keywords, for example, warning, right? So I can capture uh, warning message, or I can capture uh, like error messages just to extract uh, the keyword error from the log entries. So now I have a different uh, relationship. In the end, I'm gonna deliver all these data based on different keywords to different Kafka brokers. So I can add a processor that says uh, publish publish Kafka, this is gonna deliver data to the Kafka processor, right? So if I go to that processor configuration, I can see like different options here. Let me change this to a uh, setbox.fullenworks.com. This is where I run my Kafka broker, uh, which is locally running on my laptop. And I just happen to remember the port number, which is a 6667. And uh, I can specify a topic name, right? In this case, this is a info topic make a copy of uh, that processor because we also want to deliver data to uh, different topics, uh, maybe error topic, and uh, maybe uh, a warning topic. So I know those topics exist. Warning topic, all right. And I can just connect uh, the routing processor to these Kafka brokers. This is info. This is uh, warning, and uh, this is error message, right? I can go back and configure the failure relationship. In this case, I just wanted to terminate all the messages that are not matching with any of the keywords. And go to Kafka processors, uh, drag and drop the failure relationship back to the processor itself, meaning that I just wanted to keep processing the failures. All right, and then I wanted to terminate all the relationships because uh, there's no more downstream processors, right? Success, 
I'm going to terminate uh, the success profiles. All right. So now I have uh, basically this entire flow from end to end, gathering data from my local NIFI log folder, delivering that uh, to all the way to a Kafka brokers. So now let's turn on those processors and see how the flow files move through NIFI. So start this processor here, getting the log file. And this is a running log file, right? I can keep getting the new messages, right? Turn on that processor to split the log file into uh, single lines, right? There's uh, thousands of lines in those log files. And then turn on that brought on attribute, brought on content processor to deliver them to a different Kafka brokers based on the keywords. So all those lines happen to be uh, in fall, which kind of makes sense. So if I turn on that published Kafka processor, it's going to store all the data in Kafka, in my Kafka broker, right? Start all these Kafka processors. So this is a running data flow from end to end. Uh, once I start all the processors, I do not have to maintain the flow at all. There's no human involvement needed. But on the other side of the house, I also wanted to uh, kind of uh, retrieve or uh, pull those data out of the Kafka brokers and deliver them to a downstream HDFS. Uh, storage. So how can I do that? I can add another processor that says uh, consume Kafka, right? I'm going to read, uh, I can read from any of the three topics. In this case, uh, I will do sandbox.hornworks.com port number. I want to do uh, maybe info topic, right? And group ID just gave it random number. And have a processor to load uh, that data to HDFS, right? So deliver that data from a Kafka broker to HDFS, right? So if I go there, double check the configuration, looks all right, looks promising. Now if I start uh, that processor, it's going to grab data from the info topic and keeps delivering that data to HDFS storage. So, uh, you know, I can see all the data, right? Whenever there's a new data being delivered, to the Kafka processor. So my downstream consume Kafka processor is going to grab uh, those new entries in real time. So this is how easy you can set up uh, a data flow that is actually meaningful in an enterprise environment. 